Welcome back to the Afternoon Express Kitchen where we are back with our beautiful Zambian ladies, Clara and Lulu. But we had to bring on some male energy into the lock. So please help me welcome back Chef Jay. Welcome back, ah, sir. Thank you. I'm so excited. It's such an honor and privilege to have Clara and Lulu in the studio today, yeah, celebrating so our home, how blessed we are to be from Africa, yes. and to celebrate all the joys that um, the continent has to offer. And speaking of which, with Africa Day coming up tomorrow, what better way to celebrate our continent than by cooking a big pot of something that is not only super delicious, but gives us the ultimate boost too. Jay is going to show us how to make a West African inspired beef and peanut stew. Mm. This sounds absolutely <laughs> amazing. What's so special about this recipe? So the recipe today is so special because we are using black cat peanut butter. We are going for the smooth option. Now ladies, this comes in crunchy, it comes in smooth, and both variations have uh, one that doesn't have added sugar and salt. So this is such a fantastic product, okay. rich and creamy, high in energy and fiber. So ready to, to get us powered up today. We are ready. Can we take some more? <laughs> for sure, for sure. Now, I always talk about memories as a child when, when we would literally go into the cupboard and literally scoop it out and eat it. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel. Do you I do? I don't know. Um, yeah, we yeah. all grew up doing that. It's, it's universally African. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think so. And I think it just speaks to the dish that we're making today. I mean, we were having a conversation earlier, Pali, about how we've each had a variation of this dish um, in so many different parts yeah. of Africa, which I think is fantastic. Absolutely. I mean, Clara, please tell us about how you would kind of whip up this recipe. I know you kind of have a different variation as well. Yes, yeah, so in Zambia, we, like, we cook with peanut sauce and garnets, but we use vegetables. So the meat one, we don't really do. Mm. It's a first, but again, there are some people that add the vegetables and the meat. Mm. So like there's a version that my mom makes with cassava leaves. She adds some beef to it, but yeah. not just the beef by itself. So, yeah. Definitely rep, um, representing that nutty kind of flavor that's coming on, yeah. on this side. And I can already see you're hard at work on that side, Lulu. I am hard at work here, but I'm just really excited that we are celebrating something that's truly African, which is the peanuts. The peanuts. You know, peanuts yeah. really bring us together. And you'll find that in most cuisine around Africa, we all use peanuts somehow, somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. So in Zambia, we'll use the peanut butter, but we'll also pound the raw peanuts mm and use that powder Ooh. to cook. Delicious. So it's really yeah. cool. I mean, I can also, I'm already thinking of Zimbabwean dishes as well. I know in Zimbabwe, they love to also make a nice porridge that has peanuts inside and peanut Yo, butter. Oh, that one is so good. Absolutely delicious. So good, yeah. Now, Chef Jay, how far are you? So we've browned, what we've done before is we browned off some chuck. Now chuck, I'm not mm. sure if you guys yes. you, you cook with chuck. Most affordable. Most, Most affordable. affordable. Oh, yeah. um, and, and it's so fantastic. Cook, yeah. um, so we've browned it off before and this, I love this because it's a one pot wonder. Ah. So you take your beef out and listen, you could actually do this recipe without the, the meat. Um, mm. So. You, you know, the recipe's on the website. If you don't want to include the, the meat, it's entirely up to you. Fine. We're um, definitely going to try it, though. I've never tried um, a stew with the, with the, what's that, the butternut? Butternut. That's butternut. Yeah, and that's yeah. going to add such nice depth of flavor. So, fun, fun fact is that in Cameroon, they actually make a similar dish, but they use sweet potatoes. So, sweet potato is also a great mm. addition in this oh. dish. And you can see that I'm just stewing but you the know vegetables. What I, about sweet potatoes, we do make a sweet potato stew, not really stew, but we boil our sweet potatoes and then we add some peanut butter. Oh, oh wow. fantastic. That what sounds, that? So that sounds about, delicious. Yeah. That's like totally Zambian. So now it's sweet potato season, and you know, in the morning, your mom is making a big fat pot of sweet potatoes. <laughs> yeah. And speaking of which, I mean, we call this continent home. This is our this is our motherland, essentially. Yes. So what is it about the beautiful continent of Africa that we call home that you just love to celebrate, ladies? For me, it's the food, the food yeah. culture. Like I know when I go to any country, like food is a very big part about being African. Mm. You're welcomed in someone's home. They've, they've made a feast for a you. A feast. For me, that's, I think it's the food part, the belonging, the sense of oneness through a meal. Yeah. I love that. Oh, I love how she said a sense of oneness through yes. the meal. Yes, Ubuntu. Ubuntu. Yeah. You know, yes. We all talk about Ubuntu. I just love the fact that I can grow my own food. Mm. And the fact that we have the space to do that out here in Africa. 
Africa. So um, I have a huge garden. I'm excited about uh, sweet potatoes this year because <laughs> I've tried a different range of sweet potatoes. I think you guys have them here, the orange ones. Yes, we do. So can't wait Amazing. to harvest that. Mm, I, I just had my first taste. How, do, how, how does it taste? It is so surprising, that peanut butter flavor. It's so smooth, so rich, yeah. so creamy, but also I also love the heartiness of that beef. Yeah. What is the side that we decided to use, Jay? So today we've, so I, mm. ladies, I tried to do some of my own research and okay. I know that nchima is something that you guys have on the side or yes. have as a meal. Yes. Yes. So we've made some, sort of like a pup that we would have at home, but we've actually tried to use polenta just as something different. Ah. Um, and I think That's it pairs price. really well. And ladies, you can smell that you know, that nuttiness that's coming oh, off of this pot. It smells you know, so, good. so good. What I love about Black Cat is they use A-grade peanuts and you can really get that toasted flavor in this dish. Mm -hmm. And it's as simple as that. So we've added our, our Black Cat peanut butter, we've added the chuck, and you can just let this reduce with some chicken stock for about an hour to two hours until it's nice and glorious and, and enjoy. Oh, well done. Well done. Okay, all right, that's why we have to bring back so the heavy hands. I'm talking about Jay. <laughs> now, who doesn't want a warm boost this winter? Get your hands on this delicious recipe. Visit afternoonexpress.co.za. Now, coming up next, we're going to be making a delicious layered sago pudding. Boost your day with the Peanut Power Black Cat. 